Hey guys, so in this um, video I'm going to put forward some theories and you know, connect some dots and uh, now not much of this can be proved obviously uh, what I'm about to say but um, just a few coincidences uh, happen and I'll show one of them on my phone later I'll do a video after this and I'll show the uh, the coincidence that happened. Now, I'm putting forward the theory that somehow bees and shungite are able to, they could be proof of uh, fields uh, webs, webs around the planet and um, these webs also might have links to parallel universes or other dimensions. There's some sort of link there that's the hypothesis I'm putting forward. Now why do I say this? Um, oh yeah before we get into this guys I've got links to Shungite, um, I've got links to um, um, self-defense and links to earthing products. Um, if you don't know about those, uh, they're all health. I'm going to have a bit on Shungite on this. Um, you know, hey, thanks to my, thank you, I'd like to thank my subscribers uh, that have um, pump, popped into my reality by, um, you know, subscribing and if any new users has come along um, I, part of, I try to put as much value into each video and um, you know if you like what you hear here just um, if, you, if you're not able to you know donate any um, finances uh, I'd, I'd appreciate equally as much if you could um, hit the subscribe button um, okay so I think bees, why do I think that bees, shungite, uh, show us the, or may show us that there's a web, there are web, webs of energy around the planet. Obviously we can't see them, or most people can't see them. Um, and these webs of energy may not only be are connected to this reality um, but also to maybe even parallel universes or they might be linked to time itself these webs now, if you look at, um, I'll start with John Valo Marquis's deck. 20 years ago, I learned all about the Merkaba and um, sacred geometry. Um, and John Valo talks about these um, fields around the Earth, such as the, uh, there's the one around the Earth at the moment now is a fourth dimensional, uh, one called field grids, grids. Um, the one around the planet at the moment is a icosadodecahedral shape, and that I forget when when that was finished. Um, sometime in the I can't remember, so don't quote me on this. Um, but that 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 uh, that what do you call it? That grid, icosahedral dode, uh, icosadodecahedral grid, energy grid, uh, had to be there for us to go into, uh, for us to physically move into the higher overtones of fourth dimension. Okay, so the, we've got those grids. Now, why would the, um, so yeah, Drumbelow set the scene for there being grids or uh, webs of energy around the planet. And now we've got, we've got Shungite with the molecular structure of Shungite seems to tap into uh, a f 
field and that's why it because of the the shape of it the second geometric shape of the what's called fullerenes uh, or the buckyball its molecular structure now the thing is a lot of uh, ancient peoples use a form of mantra or, or you know uh, use a form of what to call it chanting that sounds like a bee um, and also so we've got the shungite with the second geometry we've got the bees that the ancient Egyptians uh, believed were sacred. Now, honey is also, as far as I know, the only food on the planet that will not decay. So it's, it is timeless. You make a pot of honey today, it'll be around in a billion years time, probably. Okay. Now, B. In mythology, the bee found in India, ancient Near Eastern Aryan cultures, was believed to be the sacred insect that bridged the natural world to the underworld. Now, I think they've got that uh, underworld uh, that's just sort of uh, propaganda BS. Yes. Um, but it is linked from the natural world to other worlds. Um, and I'm trying to go over this in this. Uh, in this video. Now, what we learn from the ancient Egyptian practice of beekeeping. Now, there's going to be a part two to, of this where I'll show you what happened when I move into house, uh, house, and it had, it, I believe it has, now you might say, oh, that's just a coincidence. I believe it has some sort of connection between shungite and bees there's something going on between shungite and bees and i think it's because shungite has pretty much has the same geometric shape as honeycomb beehives too sacred geometry so somehow they're all connected that's the theory I'm putting forward anyway. So we've got the Shungite which is uh, has the geometric shape like a soccer ball. If you know a soccer ball it's like that. I've been saying it's a dodecahedron. I don't know if it is. Um, dodecahedronal shape. I've got to check up on that. But whatever the case the bees And basically, if if look at the bees, so the sound is used uh, in chanting, you know, something like zzzz, um, that's used. That's definitely that's not theory. Um, so the sound is used. They were considered sacred. They have a food that lasts forever, and without the bees, we have no food. <laughs> so something's going on between the bees and uh, some connection. Now the other part of the puzzle is that there is a thing called colony collapse syndrome. And what happens is uh, recently, and even a lot of people, most people know that the bees are all been dying out all over the world. Um, now. What happened was there's this thing called colony colony collapse syndrome, and bees. A lot of bees beekeepers have noticed that uh, the colony bee colony hive collapses because the bees don't can't find their way back to their beehive, and they the colony eventually collapses. So what happened was this guy had heard about shungite. Um, and the healing energies it does, the the, the ability. Of Shungite to 
Um, there's a thing called a tin, a tin, a tintuate, a tintuate. People used to thought, think of that as, you know, uh, as a blocked the Wi-Fi or got rid of it somehow. But I think the word is a tintuate, and I've uh, got, I got this information from a woman named. Hold on. Woman named Nancy Hopkins, guys. If you want to know more about Shanghai, go and um, watch interviews with a woman named Nancy Shanghai. Among other things, she worked as a uh, electrical weapons specialist in uh, in the army. Okay, um, now. Okay, so this this guy whose colony bees were collapsing, as he thought, as you know, he was concerned not only for the bees but that was his business. So he tried putting three little shungite stones near the entrance of the beehives. What happened was that eleven weeks later, um, his beehives were thriving. And he got eight times the production that he had before. Uh, yeah, when the you know when the bees weren't disappearing and all that, so he's getting eight times the production, and he and the bees absolutely love it. Now, this Nancy Hopkins said that bees, if they don't like something, like say a mouse comes into their little hive. And you know they kill it or it dies in the hive, whatever. I don't know how mice get in there. And that. The bees will actually physically remove anything that they don't like, okay? But with the shungite stones, it was the opposite. They would actually, I don't know with what it was with their spit or a little bit of honey, they would stick, make sure that the shungite couldn't fall off. They would stick the shungite to the entrances. And they would, they would go out of their way to walk over the Shungite rocks. Now, what I'm thinking is, this Shungite was not only um, because of the attenuating of the Shungite, which means Nancy Hopkins says that because of the shape, uh, a harmonic shape rotates clockwise um, and Wi-Fi and uh, negative energies rotate anti-clockwise so what was happening was these Wi-Fi's etc were coming into the uh, molecular structure of the Shungite which is the shape of a buckyball shape of a soccer ball they were coming in and they were making it harmless basically attenuating I think is the word attenuating um, yeah so and she says that somehow this shape is connecting and hence this uh, this web worldwide well, like web and grids around the planet somehow this shape is connecting to a limitless field okay and that's why apparently Shanghai never needs cleaning either because it's always the closest thing I can get to it, and of course this is all, you know, this is all external stuff, but from following Dranvalo Marquisic's work, I can pretty much guarantee you that this shape, this buckyball, I'll look into it a bit further, but I'm pretty sure, there's a, there are fields around you. Uh, that goes out 55 feet around you. It's called the Macabre. Within this field are thousands of geometric shapes. Each geometric, geometric shape is aligned with a certain uh, dimension or, I suppose, timeline, dimension, reality. That's why Drenvalo teaches to breathe 
conscious breathe from the heart because when you do that you're connecting with the where we're going to the fourth dimensional reality so I would say that this buckyball shape is specifically connected to a certain reality and that certain reality certain dimension is also connect you know it's connected to here this reality because of that shape and hence uh, what also is happening is that there could be an aspect of because it's connecting two realities and that's what the Egyptians thought that the bee connected uh, the natural world they said the underworld but that's that's just modern propaganda but I think the bees definitely connect do connect worlds and I'm going to give you in part two of this which I'll do with my phone camera I'll show you a what a lot of people will call a coincidence but I don't I think it's more than that so the, because of these the buckyball shape the uh, the shape of the um, molecular structure of shungite and also the shape of which is similar to the shape of the you know the beehives shape what do you call it the honeycomb shape um, there's a connection there's a bridge there and also the other thing that's happening is these if they're you can't really like skip you know you can't I don't think you can skip Jumbo said you can't skip dimensions so if the bees are connected to whatever the par parallel universe dimension um, alternative reality these bees are connected to with this shape they are also connecting uh, time because they they would have to go through all those other dimensions uh, you know to get to the buckyball reality and there's a because they're doing this they're connecting uh, they're connecting realities then time itself is non-linear with the bees and it's it's more cyc cyclical because they've got this link to other realities through the sacred geometric shapes which has a connect connection to Shungite also and now some with all, uh, Shungite they don't know where it came, came from some scientists say it could have come from outer space um, now and it's just uh, funny now how we're needing this not only is the Shungite it's just is a coincidence that at this time 2019 we need Shungite to not only protect the bees but to protect us from Wi-Fi at this time in our history okay so there's that connection okay so I think this is a sacred connection a sacred relationship between bees and Shungite as well okay hope that didn't get too far up <laughs> well that about covers it uh, and I'll show you the coincidence that I'm talking of and then maybe you know, people say oh that's just a coincidence but in the next video I'll show you on my camera what happened when I moved into this uh, little cottage that I'm currently living in which is on a, a chicken farm funnily enough so my my question is not which came first the chicken or the egg my question is which came first the bees and shungite or time <laughs> that's probably enough for today um, yeah guys um, I'd appreciate if you can um, now talking about health and that because I like to give people value um, 
if you don't know about Shungite, it does lots, purifies your water. I'll leave links to Shungite below. I'll also leave links to um, earthing below because that's another thing that will help you connecting with the earth. I think also we, when you connect with the earth, but we won't go into that at this stage, you're connecting with these, um, you know, grids. And if you want to look up, look up John Valle Marquisedec, because um, I've been following him, you know, 20 years ago I came across, or oh, more than 20 years now, 22 I think it is, came across John Valle and all his material that he went over then is now... You know, we learned about the macabre 20 years ago, and now the macabre is everywhere. And Drunvalo said it used to be everywhere in the past, too. It was known about. And he said, everyone on all dimensions studies the macabre and its fields. And I think we're also moving into that time. Yeah. So, yeah, Drunvalo Marquisedec, uh, the macabre, uh, the flower of life, if you want to study that for sacred geometry. So guys, learn about the earthing, because earthing um, connects you with the earth and fills you with uh, electrons, which your body needs. You can get uh, earthing products so that you can sleep earth, you can be earth. When you're on your computer, look guys, if you are earthed, and you've got your shungite everywhere, right? By, you know, put shungite stones, uh, you can get a, a, what do you call it, a little flat stone that's it's got sticky stuff on it and you can put that on your phone and it's renders it harmless uh, pretty much put some on your Wi-Fi that's harmless uh, what it does is it makes all these electric fields that are currently uh, disharmonic uh, for your body make, renders them uh, harmonic now the other thing you can do the king of all this or the queen the king and queen of all this you can do all this uh, Shungite, you can use Shungite, you can do earthing. Um, now you notice these things are all um, natural products too, that are actually sort of saving the planet. Um, okay, now I would say the king of queen of all this is to learn about the Merkaba. Okay, the Merkaba is, like I say, is a set of geometric fields that are around your body. Some people can see them, John Velo can see them, he said they're about, uh, I think he said, uh, rested about uh, uh, sub 4 Kelvin degrees or something like that. So yeah, he can see the Macabre fields. Um, <coughs> learn about the Macabre, because God gave us a way in, and God gave us a way out. The way in and the way out is the, are your Macabre fields. Shungite is not probably not going to enable you to get out of this reality. It'll help, but when you die or whatever and leave this body, it'll be your macabre, your light body is another name for it. That'll take you to where you're going. The beauty of and this this uh, buckyball, fullerene shape, whatever it is, that shape, I uh, pretty much guarantee you that shape will be in your macabre fields somewhere okay so there you go guys uh, hopefully there's a lot of uh, this is information to go through here uh, uh, there and I'll make that other part two as quick as I can so you can see that and see the connection see what you think uh, it's interesting anyway you know and um, uh, is it a coincidence or not that's up to you <laughs>